Okay, people. Uh, this is South Summit Avenue, and it's zip code 65301. This little price preschool, okay, with the LLC.com. Oh, this, this is infuriating me, and I won't show you her house. Because, I, you know, it's right next to the playground side of her of of this place school. Okay. The stepdaughter that I had mentioned repeatedly, she either owns property next to that daycare or best case scenario is she could be using it for rental property and doesn't live there. And the reason this is upsetting, in case you haven't caught all my videos, her mother had written a letter to the pr prosecutor, who's now a judge, and the social worker in 95. Okay? Spelling out, not in so many words, that her daughter was a deviant. And by deviant, through that, via that letter, the same one they saw, supposedly looked at, entered into court records, stamped it as received. The, the specific acts that her mother detailed that she knew about. These are just off the tip of the bat. There's probably more, but the letter was already seven pages long. So, I mean, face it, you're a mom. You've got other things to do. You've got school to teach. Uh, and this just dawned on me, too. Her mother was like the school teacher, and I'm sorry if I'm over-modulating. I'm, I'm really upset right now. She was the school teacher for the commune. It was uh, classified... I guess what sounds right to me is a home school. Okay, I had one across the street here. They've moved, but anyhow. All right, the rules are somewhat different. All right. She found out about these deviancies of her daughter. Okay. Maybe that's one of the primary reasons she chose to, after 13 years of telling those kids that my husband, their father, was dead, decided all of a sudden, let's get him out of here, let's send him to their father. She didn't need any more deviant things going on at that school, or in school off time, you know, with the same bunch of kids. When you're in a place like that, you become close-knit basically you know it's not like out here where everybody's in your i mean they are everyone's pretty much your click out here everybody clicks off in different little you know how they do different clicks because different strokes for different folks right uh, now that's going to bother me but she knew these things and didn't give us a warning Okay, so failure to warn, which I've gone over before. And I am trying to keep an eye on my timer down here, too. We're at four, 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 five. Okay, didn't warn us. And we had a young son in the home. He was five. Cutest little guy you'd ever, ever want to see. Bouncy little curls all over his head. Big old smile, just as friendly as chapstick, you know. <laughs> Funny I should say chapstick right there, but trying to think of something. What should I do? I put this on my Facebook. We were looking at it when this video started. I had another one written, but I made it go private because after I got it up there, it was up there a couple minutes. 
I decided, well, what if she doesn't live there? What if she's got it as uh, income property? Here it is down here. That's why they, they give me this chance to add a button. See right here? I put lives like right next to a, which may not be the case. So as you can see, oh, this thing wants to be all kinds of pokey. Anyhow, I lock the post to private. Only me, supposedly, you know, and the powers that be can see this post. And that, too, makes me mad. Okay. Now I can't even scroll up the page. I'm getting angry. And it's hot. And I've got a window open. But it's still rather hot. So, excuse my bad disposition right now. Knowing these things for all this time and me telling people whoever would listen basically look something's up with this. Even when I went to the judge a different, not the guy that's a judge now. He was the prosecutor back then. I probably came off sounding like all kinds of crazy. But in a, in my heart of hearts, I was thinking, well, that's okay. People sound crazy all the time, <laughs> you know. But they got to say what they got to say, okay. This should be infuriating people, okay. The X described in that letter, and w this is why I took the letter directly over to my parents, that very night after I got the files from State. Maybe State felt like me and our hands are tied at this and look at this. If, big if, they even opened it after John got it that far. Okay? To say, oh man, and what can we do? These are supposed to be locked files. And maybe she knew she was going to get transferred or was going to retire. She didn't look all that old. She's probably late 30s. Maybe she didn't give a damn. <laughs> maybe she just gave no crafts that day, you know? Say, so here, you want these files? You come and get them. And damn the torpedoes about them being juvenile files. We could give no cares. We don't have time. We don't have funds. We blah, 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 short-handed. We don't have space for this crap. So, they landed um, in my hands, as some of you know. That's where it got dirty. There I was, that big old dang haunted house downtown that began falling apart right before my eyes, tearing my soul out with it. And I'm looking at these files. I'm untrained for one thing. It's a freaking wonder I even got through high school for another thing. I was that harassed. Okay? Most education I got was through my dad. Okay? And my sister. She had a big deal to do with that too when I was younger. You know, she's who taught me to read. Yay Carol, right? Managed that in between me running off from daycares and getting my nose punched at second grade, right? Being stood in the closet all day. But this crap here, I better scroll again. It wants to act so burdened right now. Maybe it's the hour. You know, a lot of people on or something. The only thing separating and it could go on years and years and she never touch anyone or do anything wrong to anyone. Because that's how sometimes it works. But then on the flip side, you just don't know. That's why they're supposed to use caution. But it doesn't look like they use much caution here. If she's living in that house, like is suggested online... And I found it in several places in her and her husband's name. And when they first got it, it didn't look like this. They've done work to it. Well, there's the meat locker right there, a.k.a. 
preschool if she ever wanted to do anything like she did to the kids at the commune she just have to low crawl across his yard at night and wait and stalk him through a hole in the fence back here until they show up the next morning and she could just have her way with him her jolly little way her satanic little jolly damn way I guess that's what they're waiting for, to put the damn lid on it. To put it under a cloak. A glass jar. This kind of crap doesn't need buried and see if I hadn't got that file. Even though nothing may have come of it. It could have been buried all those years. And then all of a sudden... Blammo. She decides to get a kid, you know, like we read of the teachers doing uh, the underage students. And rapes them and even gets pregnant with them. Because people are crazy. Lord God, I don't know all the answers. I don't even pretend to. I do know what I know, and she was sent to us under false pretenses as far as I'm concerned, because we were not warned. Those are false pretenses. Her mother knew of her deviancy and wrote of him in that letter. One, she was seducing the pastor, who came forward and mentioned. Two, she was caught masturbating on the floor. And I believe the third one was she was chasing the kids around them. I can't swear to it, though. Trying to seduce kids on the playground. So, of course, this kind of crap's going to conjure in my mind, whether it's real or half-baked or what. But that doesn't make me like it anymore. Why would Sedalia... Let me calm down a second. Take a drink of soda. Why would Sedalia, having had that very letter in their very hands in 1995, and know the particulars, allow her to move next to a preschool? Who is baiting who? Someone is baiting. And then I had this slight little glimmer of an idea that maybe, since Sedalia has someone said changed a little bit, but I, it, you still can't prove it by me. The glimmer is that someone thought, well, if we can just draw this demon of her out just enough to have proof then you know where she's going to go she's going to go on the bad girl list finally because something else and I typed it in my Facebook post her cousin's a doctor and I found on the internet, her her aunt, her oldest aunt, my sister-in-law, was awarded like the top fundraiser in Iowa. Now, think. And I do mean it. Which one of those two are incapable of funding or donating to little places like that little preschool? Because you and I both know they are plenty capable. And if they didn't help her directly, maybe they thought, well, we don't want to come off sounding like we just do everything for her and give, 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 and she never gets in trouble or anything. But if we give to something she's slightly attached to, we're still giving, but it's indirect. Do you get my drift? Someone ought to get my drift. Bless you. Thanks for watching. I'm going to hang this child up for a little bit.